Hello and welcome back to the video. Um, I'm now on 80 subscribers, believe it or not, on my YouTube channel, which is quite unexpected. Um, when like when I started my channel, it was 10 years ago, and I was just basically just messing about, putting TV clips on, and never expected uh, it to really go anywhere. It was just you know just messing around, trying things out. Uh, never thought I'd uh, buy a camera and be recording videos 10 years later. They were just originally. I thought we could just do some running videos, uh, video of my son running cross country, just record those. Then I started buying more equipment, things <laughs> fixed, just got carried away. During lockdown, I've bought quite a, a few bits of equipment, to be honest with you. So if we can maybe start taking things serious, think about videos to make because there's no running at the moment, all runs competitive runs are all off the only competitive race race i did this year was at tatton park which was a cross-country race back in january and then there's been you know the park runs which went up until march the 14th when we did that one that was the last one and uh, there hasn't been any since so there's been no competitive running since then for me so during the lockdown it was um what kind of content can i make what what videos should i bring out i mean i could always do some reviews on some of the gear that i've bought like one of the latest things i bought is this wireless microphone just trying to improve the audio on um, the videos that i make um, it's a similar microphone to the rode wireless go this is a cheaper version it's uh, made by sacconi it's the sacconi tiny and up to now from the test that i've uh, done and i've actually got it the right way around that is it sounded okay i've tested it outside once or twice from what around the garden and it sounded okay if it's windy you need a wind more i plugged in my ceremonic microphone and that seemed to work quite well so what i want to try today is a recording indoors the kids are away so the house is really quiet so it's there's no, no at the moment there's absolutely no background noise but if i stick the tv on now uh, that sounds without going in the background and then also which i tried to do before a couple of times is turn that fan on as well see what noise that comes out like whether it comes out over the top or anything right so we've got some ambient background noise tv and a fan going in the background to see how if my voice still gets picked up by the microphone and the audio still sounds clear and crisp up to now it's been pretty good it's done a good job another new accessory that i've got today is a tripod that i've got the canon m50 mounted on i already had a tripod but it was a full size tripod this one that i've got is it's a compact tripod it's the manfrotto compact and it does fold down nice and small so i'm going to take that down to my brother-in-law's next week and we'll give that a go while we're down there maybe look at trying to make a video while we're down there to come up with some ideas of what we can do right okay i'm gonna uh, leave this video there and we'll be back soon with some videos 